Hello and welcome back. Today will be a quick video showing how to install the Unity Tiny sample projects into your Unity 3D environment. This is useful for showing how Unity handles certain tasks or objects they are trying to accomplish while using the Unity Tiny workflow. The project that I have open currently is a clean Unity Tiny import with one game that I had already created and worked on, the Unity Tiny Snake game we made in the previous video. I made this by going to Tiny File New Project, but to import the sample packages we'll go to Import Sample Projects, which will go ahead and decompress and load in the Unity Tiny sample projects. Once it loads in, you'll have all of these files and we can just go ahead and click on import, which will import all of those files into your project. Once the packages get installed, they will be under a file called tiny samples. Inside of here, you have various projects that you can go through and see how they work, such as audio forest. Let's open it up and see what it is. We have this background image with what looks like a couple of buttons at the bottom. If we look through the components, we have a camera, a sprite renderer with an image, background music which has an audio source which plays forest underscore music at a 0.4 volume and it loops, and it has an audio source start for the music to start. And then on here, you'll see that it only has an audio source and not an audio source start. So we can take away from that to get the audio to play, we would need to add the audio source start component. Going down through the rest of them, you can see that they are the same components with different audio clips. If we take a look at the next project, It is actually, I believe, the project that they made in the Unity Tiny workshop, which if you have not watched it yet, I will link in the description below. So moving on, I think the Dungeon Z project shows off how to use the tile palette system inside of Unity Tiny. It's just a tile palette drawn, and you can go to your tile palette tab and see that it is the exact same workflow as inside of Unity 3D. This is extremely nice for the Unity Tiny environment. So you can just click on a tile and start to draw them in. I'm sure you could also import rule tiles, but I'm not too sure. I have not tried that. Then if we go to Flying Yolk, it is a Flappy Bird clone. With the Flappy Bird clone, we can use see how to use an animated sprite. If we go ahead and play the project, we'll see the animated sprite that it'll show us how to make, which will be the flapping bird. So going back into Unity, closing out of the project, we can figure out how they animate the flapping bird by going to the entities. We'll open up the game scene, go to the player, click on your inspector, and you'll see it has a sprite 2D renderer with a sprite with layer sorting at 25 to take care of the background layering so it does not overlap or underlap. Then we have a sprite 2D sequence with three sprites on it. And to get the sprite 2D sequence to play, it looks like you need a sprite 2D sequence player with a connection to the sprite 2D sequence that you want to play. From this, it seems we need to take away that to make multiple animations, you need multiple components or possibly another way, but I'm pretty sure what I'm seeing from how this is set up is if we wanted different animations on here, we would have to have another component with another Sprite 2D sequence and through code, we would just overlap which one it is playing. Maybe there's another way to do it. Maybe we can create a custom component with different animations on it. I am not too sure. We'll try to figure that out later. Not in this video, though. There are also multiple other projects you can take a look at, like the physics demo. Let's take a look at the physics demo project. We have lots of objects on the scene. We have the border, 
let's we open the border up, you'll see that it's got a box collider, a rigid body, body 2D, and a sprite renderer. The same with the rest of the borders, but in different locations. You can see them being highlighted as I go through them in the hierarchy. Looking at the gravity, you'll see that this top corner is all under this parented gravity object, which has the square with a box collider, a rigid body on dynamic, and a sprite renderer. Then the ground is a static rigid body, so it does not move, so the box should fall and hit the static rigid body. And then we also have impulse, no friction, friction, restitution, and no restitution. We also have control for controlling with AWD, key, and mouse. If we click on play, we can see what this project looks like. You can see that there is gravity on these objects. If we move with A, W, and D, this object bounced up and down. That one fell, that impulsed over here. This has friction, so it didn't slide. No friction, so it did slide. This one, <laughs> not too sure what it's doing. I'm... <laughs> and that one's bouncing back and forth and flipping the color based off the bounce. All right. So that was a quick video showing how to use the Unity Tiny Sample Projects to figure out a better workflow for your projects. Feel free to take a look at the other projects and learn more about Unity Tiny. But that is it for today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.